Welcome back guys. Today we're going to take a look at a set of Mosegate lenses that were sent to me. Now these lenses are meant for our mobile devices, either front facing or back facing camera, and they have a few effects. So this is what it looks like. Let's check it out. This is a set of lenses that was sent to me by a company called Mosaic Lenses. These are mobile lenses. They're intended to be used but with your Android or your iOS device. So it will work with your Apple or directly with your any version of Android as long as the camera is generally uh, positioned close enough within the range of the clip itself. I'll show you guys the demo with the units that I have. Um, this lens kit provides us the ability to have a wide angle, macro, as well as fisheye functionalities. This is enhanced. Fisheye, of course, is something that we don't have on our mobile devices. So this will be definitely very nice to have there. Here we have an 18 millimeter super wide HD lens, gives us the ability to just add so much more space back into our pictures and it condenses and I'll show you guys this looks really nice on our device. Uh, the product number on this one is the POLAL01, this is POLWD01. Let's go ahead and unbox them and then we'll do a quick test of the products. As you can see, the actual packaging is very well thought of. They're positioned correctly. The actual lens here, the super wide lens, if you notice here, it's in, in, internally cased in a little foam container. There's a cap on the lens itself. So if you hold it on the side here and take it off, you could see the lens itself. They can actually see, pretty much see through the lens itself. It's not intended obviously to have any mirrors in the back. This is just an enhancement of your current lens. Um, on the sides of it itself, it does actually say what it's supposed to do. So in this one it says HD wide angle lens. And um, if you turn it up to the back, there is a little bit of a rubber stopper here so that it helps us protect. This is intended to go around the lens itself in the back of your device. You can also use this with your front uh, camera, depending if you're comfortable using it. And then of course, uh, you can basically mount it. Let's go ahead and just put the cap back on and I'll show you guys the mounting kit that comes with it. The box here comes in with a cleaning cloth for the lens itself, as well as a bag to carry the lens once you take it out of the box. I'm assuming they don't want you to keep it in the box all the time. The actual kit, and we'll go back here. The lens holder essentially is mounted, uh, is a mountable lens holder. So if we take the kit itself, this is the ring on the back. There's a little uh, ridge here. You put it, you hear the clip, and it's pretty much secure. Uh, and the stopper itself in the back, I'll take this off for now. The stopper in the back has a rubberized tip, so there is no chance of basically damaging your device. And it doesn't actually cross, uh, and you can see that here, it doesn't actually cross the lens itself. So it looks like it's getting close to it, but it doesn't touch it. So when you have it on, you put it in, and now you have a nice wide angle, super wide angle lens that you're able to mount on your camera, and you actually be able to take much bigger, wider uh, pictures, as well as no distortion issues with it at all. So well, this is the actual super wide lens. The, uh, the other two are pretty much the same. The units themselves are encased. Uh, you could see that here, just a smaller uh, set of lens. And of course, you can just take it off, put it back on, and they provide you a clip for each one. So you're not gonna be basically interchanging clips. But once you have them done, uh, they do provide us also with a bag and a chamois for this one. I just put them on the side a uh, second. They're pretty much the same. Um, this is just fits in the, inside the packaging itself. So I'm doing a front facing camera test using the iPhone. And the reason I'm using this as opposed to the Note 5 is the Note 5 has a wide angle lens in the, in the front for the front facing camera. It's one of the features they have so you can actually have more people in the picture, something that the iPhone is lacking. So this is why I'm using this lens on it. I wanna see basically if it works really well. Um, on the front facing camera, as you notice right now, it's using it really, really good. I'm gonna stop the video. We're gonna do a quick jump cut with completing the video without so it. So we're back. The video is exactly in the same spot. I haven't moved. Uh, we're using basically the iPhone again, front facing camera to complete the actual just test real quick. And as you can see, by far, uh, this little thing, just mounting it on the front facing camera on the iPhone 6, uh, or even at the any, any of the iPhones basically, uh, this is the larger one, the, uh, the 5.5 inch display one. And you'll definitely have a much better experience. So, so far for the uh, Mosaic lens, the HD wide angle lens, it definitely a plus. If your device is lacking these features. So please be aware what you're using it with. If you have a device that does have some of these features, like the Note 5 with the front facing wide angle lens camera, this is not gonna be helpful, but anything else, you should be good. So we're gonna go ahead and try the actual macro lens itself. As you can see here, this is one of my son's toys. Um, it's a dinosaur that has a lot of little ridges that you normally wouldn't be able to see with the regular lens. Um, I'm gonna be using my 5X here. This is the Honor 5X. I have the camera mounted. Um, you can see here that there's a little bit of rubberized sole here that kind of helps you protect the screen itself. The lens is sitting on the back and we'll go ahead and try to zoom in and see basically what we can see here. And we'll go ahead and touch the focus. You can see here there are the ridges. 
Uh, there's a little hairline here as far as what we can see and you notice I'm actually almost right on top of the device itself and I'm still able to do straight focus here and I'll take some pictures here but the main benefit here is that this is almost not even visible to when I look at it, the actual unit itself so you can see it here um, you can't even see that there's actually a little hair sitting right there um, directly uh, when I'm using it directly with the camera itself I can see all of this that's right there sitting right there definitely very nice as far as the macro lens um, you can also use it for the front facing camera but unfortunately I think the main benefit of this essentially is to have it in the back facing so you can see the display and you can look in at the really really nice zoomed in items here and pick out these little uh, hairy little uh, <laughs> I didn't even know this existed this is sitting right on the unit itself so we're using the actual Honor 5X I've actually shown this as far as a review unit as far as how the video quality is uh, but we're using the fisheye le uh, lens look on it itself uh, if it's something that you want to use you could use it of course on the back facing camera or the front facing camera uh, but at this point I just figured this looks kind of interesting that I wanted to see it it has that fisheye uh, you know effect that it does to the lens itself so definitely very nice uh, if that's what you'd like to see I wanted to do a quick sample of how the actual lens looks like on the back facing camera um, as you notice that there is no more cropping on the side you can still see that little bubbly effect that, that the fisheye lens does actually have um, I'm actually just trying to extenuate the, the effect itself. Normally, of course, it wouldn't be, but you could see that it does that with straight lines mostly. That's how clear it is. Uh, they, it bends and it just gives you that nice, beautiful effect there. I've that's had some time to use these lenses. So um, as you guys saw in the, some, one of the videos, I was using it with the iPhone and with the HD wide angle lens. You could see how much more it was able to fit in, how much uh, actually you were able to stand up as close as this is how far I was holding my camera and you could see so much more around me. So definitely an improvement for that camera. Um, I tried using the same lens on the Note 5. Unfortunately, I, that gave me more of a, uh, a ring effect around it. And that's mostly because some Android devices, which is a really nice thing for their front facing cameras now have wider angle lenses, uh, giving us the ability to include more people in our selfies, which is unfortunately counterproductive to what these lenses are trying to produce. So if you're using it on the back camera, you're definitely gonna have a much better experience. Um, you can mount it again. Uh, the units themselves have a rubberized uh, cap on the back, so it will not damage either your, your backing or even the screen, uh, and then you'll be able to put it on. Um, again, I had one of my, my son's toys, one of these dinosaurs, helping me out with the macro lens, um, as that was something that you could actually use um, to play with your kid and enjoy. Uh, just see things, the little ridges, the little things on their toys. It becomes really functional as you know our devices are things that we carry with us all the time so having this functionality is really cool uh, they provide us with little packets or little bags to be able to carry these things but for both sets uh, the hd wide end uh, wide angle uh, sorry the hd lens is a separate uh, unit and then the macro and the fisheye are also sold separately i'll give you guys a link in the description below uh, but other than that i want to say thanks to Moziet for sending me these lenses definitely functional uh real well priced as far as reasonably uh priced and will really improve your quality as far as your camera um, and it has some nice effects that fisheye was really cool I'm not sure how i would use that because i just feel like it's more of a kind of if you have to use it you want to use it and if not it's not something that you would use uh, but again like and subscribe as usual let me know what you guys think in the comments below and you know what i'll see you in the next one